It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking about parallel lines and a transversal. We're going to determine which angles are congruent to angle X. Here we go. Here's our question today. We're given parallel lines J and K that are cut by transversal line P, creating the angle shown. Here's our diagram, our parallel lines and our transversal. We're asked to determine which angles must be congruent to angle X. And we are to select all the angles that must be congruent to angle X from this list of seven angles. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we have to determine angles that are congruent to angle X from this list of seven angles. Let's begin by going over congruent pairs of different types of angles formed by parallel lines and a transversal. First, let's review vertical angles. These are angles that are opposite from each other when two lines intersect. So here is a pair of lines that intersect. P and J are intersecting lines and four angles are formed from those intersecting lines. We're going to focus on angle X because we want to determine which of these angles is congruent to angle X. So when I look at angle X, the angle that is opposite angle X formed by these vertical lines is angle three. So therefore, we can determine that angle three is congruent to angle X because they're vertical angles formed by these two intersecting lines. So that's one angle. We need to identify if there are any others. So we know that angle one and angle two are not vertical to angle X, so they will not be congruent. So let's clean up our workspace. The next pair of angles that I wanna talk about are alternate interior angles. These are angles formed inside the parallel lines and on alternate sides of the transversal. So if we look at our parallel lines, J and K, crossed by our transversal P, the four interior angles are right here. We already know that angle three is congruent to angle X. So let's see what else is congruent to angle three inside the parallel lines and on alternate sides of the transversal. So seeing as angle X is congruent to angle three because they're vertical angles, we want to focus on the alternate interior angle to angle three is angle four. These are on alternating sides of the transversal and inside the parallel lines, so they are alternate interior angles and are congruent. So now we know angle four is also congruent to angle X. Let's talk about a third type of angle. We have alternate exterior angles that are angles formed outside parallel lines and on alternate sides of the transversal. So again, we have our parallel lines intersected by our transversal, and we're gonna focus on our exterior angles, which are angles X and one and angle six and seven. So we wanna know which one is congruent to angle X. So we're gonna go on the alternate side of the transversal and on the outside. So that would be angle seven. So angle X and angle seven are alternate exterior angles and they are congruent to each other. So we know that angles three, four, and seven are all congruent to angle X. And there you have it, X, three, four, and seven. And you can see this zigzag pattern. These are all the same angle measure. Thanks for joining me today to discuss and learn about parallel lines and a transversal and different types of congruent angles that are formed by them. And that's the magic of math where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you come back soon.